Hi there! Welcome to Tourism Matters, a program that explores issues about tourism and why tourism is an important part of our lives. This is brought to you by UPAIT and TVUP. Tourism Matters tackle broad topics and are divided into three series. Number one, tourism policy and governance with a specific focus on issue on over-tourism. Number two, tourism education and human resource capacity. And number three, tourism industry, market, and enterprise. We hope you find the series interesting, educational, and fun. Hello, hello Rika, hello Tricia. Hello, nice hi. to see you. Hi, Louis. Nice to, <laughs> just call me Louis. <laughs> okay, uh, nice to have a gathering of yes. uh, AIT graduates. Yes. No? So I'm Louis Santamaria. I'm presently working with uh, Microtel. Uh, here in UP Techno Hub. So I finished AIT, but way ahead of you guys. Uh, Anong batch? Seventh batch, 1982. Ah, 1982. So uh, obviously I'll be getting uh, my new ID card next year. <laughs> Why? You're <laughs> senior <laughs> senior. Ah, another guest. Yeah. Yes. So, enough of me, please. <laughs> Uh, I'm Rika Bueno. Uh, I'm now working at the Department of Tourism. I also graduated at UPAIT, Batch 18. So, medyo malayo sa yo, uh, Louis. I entered AIT in 1983 and I graduated in 1987. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Trisha. I am an entrepreneur right now. Um, I entered UP in 1994 and graduated in 1998. So, um, mm. me and my husband now um, um, are, ma is, are managing two uh, companies, our Day Foods Corporation. So, that's what we do now. Wow. Yeah. Right. So, Negosyante. Negosyante. So, yung ano, went out of the yes, industry of the and, box. well, supplying the industry. Yes, yes. yes. So, I'll tell you more about it later. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I guess this is a nice gathering and uh, maybe it's a good time to talk about our AIT days. I mean, yeah. did it, was it, how did it help in our, obviously I'm still in the industry, though mm -hmm. part of my career or half of my career uh, was out of the industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really? The first, uh, well, as I finished in 82, I joined the, the Mandarin group yeah, that's as a, a front page. office and sales mm -hmm. person. And it went on to Sheraton, Accor, until after 17 years that I uh, decided to end my 24 by 7 <laughs> career uh -huh. in the hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I moved to completely different industry. Which is? But automotive. I joined oh, okay. the Ayala Automotive ah, Group. Okay. So, so talagang biglang from hospitality, Hotel, yeah. Biglang naging technical. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. On operations, not on sales, not on marketing, operations. I headed a, a division and a branch. So okay. we were forming the corporate setup. I see. And I think that's where my 17 years of customer service and yeah. marketing yeah. services came into play. Yes. Kasi mm -hmm. they wanted to consolidate and be customer centric. Mm -hmm. Kasi though it's a technical product, at the end of the day, Customer service, yeah, yeah. Still and customer, still related to tourism. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, tourism, is naman is service, service and people to people yes. industry. Yeah. So customer hospitality. service is yeah. really at the forefront of uh, tourism, diba? So that was ano, 18 years again, and I decided to uh, end my employment career. I had to take care of some personal matters and. Took a semi-retirement and became an entrepreneur. Mm, uh, really? Yeah. Consultancy <laughs> uh -huh. uh, for two and a half years until the personal matters have settled down. And uh, the opportunity came again. Mm. It's a Microtel UP Techno Hub. So I, I said, see. go back to my first lab, which is really the hotel. Tapos, neighbor pa yung AIT. Yes. So I renovate and everything. So I said, it's a, it's a good Providence, so mm. I got back in 2018 until now. So you're the GM of Microtel? I am the GM of wow. Microtel uh, Techno Hub. UP Techno Hub. Just mm. beside AIT. Just beside yeah. AIT. Oh. Talagang love Bumalik na love. Bumalik talaga oh, siya. Bumalik siya, oh. yes. Bumalik siya sa Commonwealth. Ano correct, nga, correct. Ano nga yung sabi? Oh, love ano, na love niya eh. I said, end, start and end my career. Yeah. Even also. In the hospitality yeah. industry. Rounding up. 
near uh, UPA in your career, di ba? Uh, so ganun ka ano. So obviously kaya sabi ko nga eh, di ba? Another another ID next year. Mm, okay. Mm. Ikaw, next yeah. to me, you're the, the most senior. And you are in the government. Yes. Sector. Ako naman, um, all my life, I've been in government ah, okay. uh, since I graduated in UP. Mm -hmm. So, when I graduated in 1987, I had a short um, uh, parang working period at the House of Representatives. Oh, so, President Three Tory? Ma uh, three months lang, yes. Okay. So, mm -hmm. And then, um, after that, um, there was an <coughs> opening by the Philippine Convention Visitors Bureau oh. for an international um, international uh, hosting of the ASEAN Tourism Forum, the mm. first time that the mm -hmm. Philippines will be hosting. Mm -hmm. So I took the chance to ano, to uh, apply mm -hmm. as part of the ASEAN Tourism Secretariat. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, that was like preparatory to the actual hosting of ATF in um, 1988. And then that was around mga eight months. But after the Philippines hosted it, I applied for a permanent, syempre, mga boss ko, uh, from BCVC and yes. the Department of Tourism. And then they told me to apply for a permanent position at the Department of Tourism. And that's where I started my career with the, depart with the DOT. I'm, you know, all, all 30 years this year. Um, so all my life, a government service. Um, which, which division? Um, I, DOT? So, Department of Tourism, I, I was first assigned at the Office of uh, Product Research mm -hmm. and Development. Yeah. So, this is more on planning mm -hmm. and development. Mm -hmm. So, um, there were also programs that we catered to the marginalized group and the uh, students from public school, mm -hmm. uh, public school, um, yeah, public schools, no? Where we would bring them, because my program on Department of Tourism, no, na wag maging dayuhan sa sariling bayan, mm -hmm. and uh, this, we give opportunities to the marginalized uh, sectors of the, you know, of the society, the out of school youth and students from public schools mm -hmm. to go around the country, grade five and six for the elementary, and then uh, third and fourth year high school for. Uh, so after that, um, mga. 2000, kasi mga 15 years ako sa planning sector eh. So, even the first master plan so, ng... So, puro basa yan? Uh, pa, puro basa, technical. Like, um, Ito even, na ko lagi sa AIT. Even with the first master plan ng Philippines, which was in uh, 1991, the Philippine Tourism Master Plan of the Department of Tourism, where we had that uh, grant, technical assistance from the United uh, Nations World, um, Travel Organiz uh, World Tourism Organization, um, I was tasked to handle one of the flagship projects, which is now yung sikat sa Bohol, Panglao Island. Oh. We, there's a, a master plan there, your Panglao, Panglao Island Tourism Estate project. So we handle that. So everything, uh, kasi non in the 90s, very heavy ang tourism, Department of Tourism when it comes to planning, master planning. Yeah. Eh. Uh, so, mga 15 years ako in master planning and uh, product development. And then I moved on to, during the time of Secretary Durano, I was um, assigned to handle international promotions. So from planning, I moved to international marketing. I handled uh, our promotional efforts within the Asia-Pacific market. So mga ano din yan, mga seven, eight years. So, and then after that, parang ano eh, I moved uh, around. around now within the Department of Tourism Operations because I also had a short uh, assignment in our regional office. Mm -hmm. So around 2010, napunta ako sa Region 7 for a short while to be the officer in charge of uh, DOT Region 7, Central Visayas. And then there was a change based in Cebu? Oh, based in Cebu, mga six months lang ako, seven months. And then there was a change in administration. Um, from GMA, of course, to um, President Aquino, and then I was recalled to the head office. And then handling now operations, which is uh, tourism standards and regulation. I think in my career in DOT, but this is the most challenging to be a regulator because mm -hmm. I was handling planning, international promotions, and then regulations, and at the same time, uh, training of our tourism workforce. So, the lowang very important aspect in our, you know, in the development of our industry. So, hanggang ngayon, I'm in uh, regional operations and uh, regulations and industry so obviously, and power development. Rika, like, like myself, you, after AIT, it was, we plunged into the 
tourism industry. Yes. Talaga, no? After uh, AIT. So and, we were practitioners. Mm -hmm. You, all throughout, ako, I had a, them, ano, another industry than back, no? Yes. But, uh, yeah. Ako naman, Patricia, ako naman, ako, sir. No? <laughs> so. oh, Actually, ha, business, ano. yeah, I've never really um, parang been employed to uh, yung sa industry. But parang sa lahat ng mga naging experience ko, um, papunta dito sa where I am now, puro related talaga siya mm. on what I studied in my, in my college years. Mm -hmm. In 98, the graduate ako, right after graduation, I was hired by a uh, parang semi-political, semi-government, um, semi-non-government um, agency called the League of Vice Governors of the Philippines. Mm. Dito, dito ako nahasang mag-convention uh, mag, mag management because we do conventions yes. every mm -hmm. quarter Correct. in all the different parts of the Philippines, depending on who mm -hmm. ang host. So, mm -hmm. I was doing this for all the, the vice governors uh, elected or um, during that time. And then afterwards, so that's on convention management. And then after that, I was also um, hired by um, by De La Salle University to um, teach convention management. Kasi doon yung lumalabas na yung mga bagong um, colleges like yes. uh, the Hotel um, School of uh, Benilde. Mm -hmm. And then um, at the same time, uh, I was also part of the Sea Games 2000, uh, Sea Games 2005. Oh, yes. So during the, uh, I was part of the secretariat of that mm -hmm. um, event. So, parang doon ko talaga, at everywhere I go, talagang nagagamit ko yung mga naging training ko during the AIT years. The subjects in particularly, AIT. Yes, particularly the convention management and then yung um, uh, sales and marketing or marketing. Mm -hmm. Kahit, kahit kumbaga yung mga very, very, very diverse yung mga subjects. And then mm -hmm. we were um, exposed to different kinds of... Uh, it, um, sectors mm -hmm. sa trabaho. Mm -hmm. So, parang kahit anong kung saan ka pumunta, baka kabagay ka talaga eh. Nagturo ka. Nagturo ako, oh. ma'am. Ikaw, um, Louie, nagturo ka rin ba? Yes. Uh, I was a lecturer for Intro to Hotel and Restaurant Management. Saan? Four sa years. AIT. AIT din. Ako rin. Pare-pareho pala tayo may teaching. Uh, teaching. Uh, 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 that was my, uh, that was my commitment mm -hmm. to Danny Corpus. And mm -hmm. after, ano, uh, so I had to share, paid forward, yes, four uh, years, paying back. Ah, until then, conflict of schedule na nga. So mm -hmm. I had to... Mm -hmm. okay. until, Lecturer, um, di ko alam kung pwede ako kasi hindi naman ako nag-PhD pa ako nag-master's. Oh, wala, ako wala. Hindi, okay so, lang yun. Explain. Explain. Noon, di ba, AIT, if you need help. Talaga, mag-apply. Mag-apply, di ba? Tama. Ako, I handled yeah. ano, resort planning and yeah. development yeah. sa AIT mm -hmm. for two semesters. And then I... Nagkaroon din ako ng opportunity to teach sa Philippine Women's University on mm. special topics. So talaga nga, no, you were into the... Oo, so parang yun na nga, giving back. Apart but from ASEC, was... ASEC professor ang tawag na. <laughs> Then, um, after my mga convention um, uh, work, uh, yung... Then we, we built the business in 2009. Mm -hmm. So in 2009, uh, we started the manufacturing. In 2009 to 2012, we started the manufacturing business. We're actually producing cookies. And then, mm -hmm. the, dun sa cookies, parang cookies. Kahit, kahit na business ito, lumabas pa rin yung pagiging tourism, tourism. student ko. Because uh, napunta, na, napunta yung line ng business namin into souvenir products. Yes. So we're right now, nasa kultura, duty-free. So on that on that path, wow. now we're featuring mga domestic place, domestic areas of the Philippines in our boxes. Mm -hmm. So that it, parang kahit pa paano, nandun pa rin yung puso ko talaga yes, to, yes. to promote uh -huh. the beauty of the Philippines and then yung um, still within the industry. Mm -hmm. At the same time, um, we are also parang sumasali na kami on Expos mm -hmm. uh, by the DTI Export Market Yes. Hero. So, parang uh -huh. ako yung nagjo-join doon sa mga convention or doon sa mga Seller expos, expositions uh -huh. mm -hmm. abroad. So, parang ang ganda kasi exposed ako doon sa industry. Is it for eh. a particular region or cookies na or it's just a homemade it's a homemade, homemade it's a homemade but we feature uh, flavors of the Philippines like the ah, dried okay. mangoes from Cebu oh, okay. oh, Malagos chocolate yes, of Davao uh, calamansi mm -hmm. so the Philippine flavors so you got we're the yes, we're, the in the thing of every yes, province of and you developed it into alam mo tama okay. tama yan Louis kasi DOT now is promoting one of the thrust or ng aming secretary secretary Berna Puyat um, who was also uh, an undersecretary of the Department of Agriculture is food tourism mm -hmm. and farm tourism so very yeah, ano very nice. um, ano ka 
kumbaga tamang tama yung business mo sa ano yes, timing so, mo for yeah. ano because now is the time for the Philippine food to be ano eh, elevated sa international hindi lang adobo uh, tsaka balot hindi lang adobo oh, balot oh. and isaw yes yes but all others we have a lot oh, we have so, a lot to promote. it seems that we really are into wherever we go that that tourism blood is is in us in East, and yes. uh, Definitely. Lala, parang lumalabas siya talaga. Without me, er, parang walang conscious effort, but it's really, it just mm. really comes out of our work. So there's just not, to, I mean, to put it, um, we all have our career goals, right? Yes. But timeline-wise, it, it just flows. Eh. Tourism yeah, yeah. is so fluid. Eh. Correct. It's Ako, not, I did not uh, set any timeline for myself, na, di ba? Kasi I wasn't expecting that... Uh, in fact, in my 30 years in government, I also had thought of moving, of moving out. out yeah. But maybe um, because there was a time that, ano rin eh, syempre, it wasn't naman uh, smooth sailing, yes. di ba? Oh, All oh. the way. So, may mga... Especially yung time na yun, I remember. Uh, may you know, mga hitches din. So, nandun yeah. na rin yung iniisip kong lalabas ako ng government. But maybe may mission ka pang hindi, ano, kasi parang binabalik ka, nabibigyan ka ng bagong opportunity to handle something yes. where you can contribute more. So, um, nung nag-umpisa ako sa DOD, wala akong sinet na timeline na five years, I'll be in this position, or wala. Ako it's, it's just, ano. I guess it's, it's, the, it's the love and yes, passion for... It's your, it grows on you. Hindi mo isipin eh. Parang time just goes and by. And you enjoy the journey. If you love your work. Yeah, uh, and if you enjoy wherever working. Wherever you are, yes. you enjoy uh, the journey. Correct. Actually, wala rin akong timeline, ma'am. Kasi nung when, when I was in college, uh, Wala naman ako, parang I wanted to be in the industry mm -hmm. and then opportunities came along so eh, from the NGO and then I went to the academe and then I, I also worked for the government for National Youth Commission. Really? So their youth events mm -hmm. naman yung gino-coordinate mm -hmm. namin still mm -hmm. on events, still mm -hmm. on conventions, still mm -hmm. on training, seminars and all these other things. So parang and then now in in business. So parang naikot na naikot ko rin yung mga iba-ibang uh, industries. Yes. It's, Actually, it's a very it's a very dynamic, super dynamic industry yeah. talaga. Yes. Right? Also, I also I was also part of Publicis Ama. It's a it's an advertising agency for private company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also handled events. I was doing the the, the tambiolo yes. during that time tambiolo uh, pa yon. Ah, oh, akyat ka dun sa mga ano to, uh, uh, yung mga digital ang <laughs> mga ano. <laughs> oh, oh, yon. So all those things. So it's so nice because the course mm -hmm. parang made you open your eyes to a lot of things and hindi ka parang dito ka lang. Kasi because of all the subjects that we yes. parang studied pwede ka talaga kahit saan oh, ano eh. Ikaw ang mamimili kung saan yung gusto mo or saan talaga yung heart Parang we were mo. provided a different, ano, diba? diba? When we were studying, the foundation. Uh, al, al, yung foundation ang ganda yes. because uh, in the tourism industry, there are many sectors. So, mm -hmm. we're given um, lessons on the hotel yes. industry, convention, Tra travel, travel and tour operations, yes. airline. Yes. So, lahat ito parang it's the whole tourism ano, and you have uh, a value chain. And background on management, yes. on account, Thing uh -oh. on the um, pati yung uh, mga uh, history, mm -mm. di ba? So it it opens your mind, it opens your eyes, and then ikaw nang mamili. But so, you remember nung time natin, I know, siguro time ni Louie, mas lalo at saka, <laughs> konti pa lang kami kumukuha ng tourism noon. Yeah, we were but 35, Konting-konti konti lang ang mga, class. and I remember, konti lang din ang aming male uh, classmates. Konti pa rin nung sa amin, uh, no? Pero, kasi ikaw, baka physical, isa ka sa mga physically sampo. Male. Uh, oh, oh, physically yes, male. Oh, yes, oh, physically oh. male. Oh. Oh. Parang baka isa ka sa Out sampo. of 35 or 36, there were only six Mayroon. So, isang block lang kayo nun, ma'am. Kami tat mga tatlo na. Oh, mga mga kaya po tatlo na. Yeah. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. Kaya nga, by batch kami nun eh. First batch, second batch. Yes. I mean, because it's only one, one class. One class. Oh, oh. 18th ako. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we, we, we touch on, on almost everything. It's, I mean, we, the fun and enjoyment of being in the tourism industry. And... Rika, you mentioned the yeah. yung mga classes natin, subjects natin, contributed to yeah. how we were able to to expand yeah. uh, and work in the current. Yeah. And if I may add, aside from the academic, I don't know, um, influences, pati yung community. Because my friends or my batchmates, mm -hmm. up to now, they're still in the industry. They're very excellent in what they do. They're already in higher positions. Yes. And they're doing very well. And because of that, you have a network. Mm -hmm. So parang the community, the AIT community, mm -hmm. you get to parang brainstorm or parang at least keep in touch. Mm -hmm. And you know mm -hmm. people, oh, okay, she's from AIT. Uh, he's from AIT. Or yeah, he's, he's, in, he's already a GM. He's a... 
he's a manager of uh, a travel or Siguro a with that, with that about, I mean, I was mentally calculating at least mga 80, 85 years yung ating combined years of experience. Yeah. So, uh, is there something we can relate to or suggest to AIT about, you know, uh, what can we include? Can include Kasi yeah. alam natin, convention management, yeah. yes. operations, uh -oh. airline, and all those research and mga language. I think, Ako, yeah. so... In terms moving of, yeah. forward, I moving mean, to, forward. To, to strengthen better the, yeah. the, the, the graduates of AIT. Looking back, talaga, parang, and then basing it from the experience that I had, no, parang ako talaga, I feel business communication, business writing yeah. business is writing. something that yeah, is correct. really needed. Yeah. Meaning, when you go out of college, you know how to write a memo, a letter, mm. a formal request. Yes. Because you yeah. parang dun ako medyo nag-struggle during mm. the time na parang, okay, I'm in front of the computer, I have to do this thing, but how do I do it? Because yeah. syempre, medyo Siguro. practical yung mga, oh, ano natin, oh. yung mga In the courses. office setting, yes. business, uh, yes. business yeah. writing talaga is very oh, important, but even memos. If, yeah, pero ma'am, even di ba, hindi ka office, kunyari hindi office yung work mo, you will still have huh? to write yeah. something. Maybe you can talk, but yes. once you have to put down something in a formal Proposal yes. or yes. communicate it's officially. Proposal, it's different. Yes. Oh. Project proposals, plan, what yes. draft or whatever. Yeah, I agree with uh, no, I agree with uh, Trish. Na talagang business writing uh, could mm. be strengthened in the uh, preparatory course natin. You know, when we go out of. Talking uh, more college. basic. Eh. For me, it's I don't know the, the curriculum right now, no. Um, but I've gone through a number of interviews, UP graduates yeah. and some uh -oh. even some outside of UP and some, uh, you know, how do you call it, state universities, mm. it seems one of the, uh, the things that they need is to communicate yes. in English. Uh, alam natin, yeah, kahit yeah, anong yeah, panahon, ang UP, no? makibaka, oh, 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 yung English. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is an international industry. industry. And, uh, you know, uh, people come here and Filipino is not, not yet, no? yes. but again, in our in our business day-to-day yeah. uh, -day business Sorry. transaction, kailangan nyo, we deal with tourists, and usually they study an international mm, language. Yes. No, whether you're right. you're French, mm. you're Japanese, you're, you're Chinese, they mm. try to get into that to that Correct. additional language and to me it, it's, Maybe it's to English. Maybe further ano, parang enhance the communication skills. I know that in my time, or maybe required even by English in yun Come one. Hindi. Oo. Oh, oh. Come one, one, come one. Oh, yes. Come one, come oh, oh. Oh. Sa amin kasi apat, like four stems. Mm. Eh. Oh, oh. No, I was just thinking na one of the things that maybe uh, UPAIT could really um, enhance or strengthen is really providing students with opportunities to have more exposures and uh, linkages mm -hmm. with the industry. Mm -hmm. Kasi di ba, I know that meron tayong mga... Uh, one or two tours or we yeah. also I know but practicum, uh, practicum and then but you know students that will um, more and more kumbaga parang time now external rather than the classroom kasi nandoon yung ano eh iba yung learning mo when you're exposed to the industry diba so i think i don't know um, in all of the subjects there would be that kind of uh, opportunity for yeah. students to have um, linkages with an uh, industry a, a program or a project so yung mga practitioners talaga practitioners so na inviting more of the career, practitioners career talks, to have to have um, parang industry talks yeah. Yeah. especially oh, now industry na marami talks, naman AIT graduates dami, yes, that so are oh. there on the so dapat naka-integrate yon yeah. no in every semester diba so merong mga gan even ano probably not only here in the Philippines but we can invite um, speakers yeah. from you know from abroad yeah. meron naman tayong linkages, nata, linkages yeah. diba so yun then it's one way of really expanding the mm -hmm. the knowledge of our students on the linear webinar webinar, uh, webinar uh, na lang, mga diba? ganan. We're, we're in touch mm -hmm. with europe we're in touch yes, with the states uh, with singapore so we should take advantage learning, of that yeah. uh, yung mga ganun of technology siguro pwede rin na ma considered sa program yung digital marketing That's yes true. because uh, for, yun na talaga eh meaning yeah, hirap na hirap ako yun na talaga diba sir parang That's nandun na tayo uh, so parang talaga so, kailangan mag ano mag adapt na yung ating yes. course do sa kung ano yung ngayon not uh, yung necessarily delivery. not necessarily iwan yung mga lahat nung before kasi right. meron pa rin naman yeah, talaga the foundation the, the foundation but still add to I ano, believe yung, now na sa curriculum na, na yan eh meron ng mga digital uh, imagine ano. digital marketing plus 
business rating uh-huh. plus communication of uh, diba, 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 public, public yeah. public mm-hmm. speaking. Na, it's totally yeah. different now. So, mm-hmm. kung ako merong equipped na yung AIT graduates nun, pag-graduate nila, di ba parang astig? Yeah, no? yes, so, 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 I guess that's enough. Very competitive. I believe that's our message to our institute and uh, for the forthcoming semesters and programs, maybe the enhancement would be, as we said, yeah. business communication, uh, strengthen the English uh, language skills, uh, skills uh, no? not only skills. speaking but speaking really you know? I mean, writing speaking some of them everything. can speak however when they put it down in writing hindi na coordinated yung uh, noun uh, grammar yung lahat yes. so, or the other way around din sir magaling magaling sulat, 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 sulat pero once na magsalita na yeah, yeah, there are, na siya mm, may mga na. taong ganun and of course as you said add on to the entrepreneurial yeah. You know, because that's the, the thing right now, you know. Uh, some... Oh, meron pa ako idadagdag. Love for country. Ah, yes. Love for country. Love for country. Kailangan muna UP nilang naman, mahalin eh. ang UP kanilang naman. bansa. Correct. Hindi yung iiwanan nila tayo. Diba sabi nga, huwag maging dayuhan yeah. sa sariling bayan. Parang, ako, Anna, I agree with you. If there are opportunities for a UPA at grad to work abroad, yes, maybe for a time. But come back. Come back bring yes. back that, ano, that knowledge yes. and experience that you have gained uh, from working outside and share it here in the Philippines. Ako ang pangarap ko nga eh, that, kasi diba, um, we are tra- in, the, in the office that I work with now, we handle training of the tourism workforce from the masahistas to the tricycle drivers. Everybody, uh, parang lahat na lang yata na nakakonect sa tourism industry, tourist police, uh, manang na nagtitinda sa sari-sari store. Binibigyan namin ng some kind of training, customer service. We now have a program, yung Filipino Brand of Service Excellence. But kasi we pride ourselves na Filipino has that in, intrinsic uh, nurturing and hospitable uh, nature, di ba? Caring and nurturing. Parang, why don't we dream that the Philippines should be the center for for a no center of excellence for uh, tourism hospitality yeah. diba parang besides tayo na yon no naman tayo for yes, that eh yes, diba that's why so we're so in demand yes, with the uh, service industry kahit abroad mm, in demand mm, pinoy kasi yeah, doon right. tayo magaling correct so i think we can all ano um, achieve that by working together diba mm. so, tayo uh, mga well, taga UPIT we I, I, I should advocate the filipino yes. brand of service excellence i'm not really working game, as a, game ka game. I don't directly overseas work, but I've, I've been fortunate enough to be traveling something like six, seven months in a year, different countries. And every time I come back, there's something I can adapt mm-hmm. and I share and I tell. Ito dapat eh. If it's working in that particular country and it doesn't entail so much resources, but it's here, no? Yung talagang hospitality and a little bit of tweaking. Yes. Because medyo ano eh, di ba? Yung fear of the unknown eh, medyo one of the setbacks of Pinoy mm-hmm. eh. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Pag sanay na ako dito, sige, dito na lang. Until something disastrous happens, is the only time they think. But we have to be more proactive with that eh. yes. We have to be ahead and say, okay, this may be the scenario. I'll tow the line, I'll take this line. And, mm-hmm. so, you know, there's nothing wrong with adapting Something. Other practices, mm-hmm. foreign practices, mm-hmm. because Correct. that's how it enhances and yeah. the industry grows yeah. better. Applicability mm-hmm. of whatever yeah. you learn from, ano. So agree okay. tayo. Dapat agree. agree natin yung, uh, you know, we we come together in really um, pushing forward yung Filipino yeah. brand yeah. of service excellence yeah. in the tourism industry. Because yeah. nga di ba? We are already warm. We are already caring, naturally. nurturing, hospitable naturally. Yes. But ang kailangan na lang natin i-enhance is the professionalism and efficiency. Yes. Yeah. Kasi very important in the tourism industry. Ano ka nga, uh, uh, friendly ka nga, hospitable, eh delayed naman yung mga service mo, eh di ba, uh, maiinis din yung bisita. So, professionalism combined with the, you know, the nurturing, caring, and hospitable traits of um, yung Filipino service, I think will be, ano, yes. will be the benchmark for tourism hospitality. I mean, any part of that, Trish? Any rah-rah-rah? Um, for, yeah, for, for the AIT students or for the upcoming graduates or for the graduating students, um, just enjoy the journey wherever you go, whatever you do, do it excellently. Meaning you're gonna do it anyway, do it excellently. Meaning para hindi mo na doblihin, gagawin mo na lang din, gawin mo na ng tama. And always do it for um, um, para yung sa, sa yung sariling um, kasiyahan at para sa ating bansa. 
Mm. So, yeah. Yep, so I guess we okay. all have the same thing. And yes. to me, as far as I, to our, you know, uh, future leaders in the tourism industry from AIT, it's a continuing process and learning. You can never stop learning because, as we said, no, the, the industry is very dynamic. Yes. Practice has changed, but the core is there. We have the heart, yeah. we have the, the attitude, we just have to, to keep it there. So, customer service, English, we have to learn. We have yes. to learn continuously. Yes, but never stop learning. If you're in the tourism industry, you're in a right industry. Yeah. Way to go. Yes, okay. I agree. Yeah. Okay. I think nasabi na nilang lahat, but um, um, number one, if you are in the tourism industry, is really love of country. So, yun ang, mm -hmm. I think, it will follow. No, Everything mm -hmm. will follow if unahin natin yung pagmamahal sa bayan at yung tamang servisyo sa bayan. Okay. Hey, nice. Nice to get together with you, huh? Yes, Rika yes. Rika and Trish. So, I'll see you again. Yes, and, uh, we'll see you around. Yes, the um, Filipino brand oh. of service yep. excellence. Sample naman ng cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs>